Do you wish to remain innocent, holding fast to the teachings you follow? Or will you seize victory, your hands stained with the blood of old friends? The most unbearable pain is now a fond memory, a desperate dream. But I know the truth. In this world, there is no eternity. Now is the time to awaken. I am reminded of when we were young. You always slept deeper and later than me. I would anxiously wait for you to awaken. Outside, the world was full of foes. I could do nothing on my own. I could not transform, no matter how I wished for it. I was a powerless whelp, a failure. I was convinced I would not survive long. You had so little hope. You are awake. I would advise you not to consider transforming and fleeing. You will lose any part of you that moves from that spot. Please stop this, Nil. There is no reason to pursue power here. You cannot rule an empty world. You and I are all that remain. Power is purpose. This world means nothing to me. If it must be destroyed to achieve my ends, then so be it. But you would not understand that. You know nothing of weakness, of humiliation. That is all in the past. Your friends love you. Think of our time at Lethos Castle. All of us together, as a family. Thinking of that age of lies fills me with nothing but resentment. You cannot mean that. It is amusing to hear you say we were a family. The irony is so delicious, I simply must share. I am not your twin brother. <sighs> I took the place of young Nil when he and I were children. Your precious twin? The one you so yearned to protect that you fled our father and risked all? He has been dead for quite some time. <sighs> Do you see it now? You are alone. Your beloved divine dragon, the four winds, your real twin brother, all gone. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? At last, we will face each other as true peers. And when that struggle finally ends, you can put an end to me. What? I have always been a miserable and lonely child. I cannot even recall the face of my own twin. I knew you would never forgive my deception. But for a time, I cherished being your new. You were so gentle and giving with me. <clears throat> so kind. I began to think of you as my one true sister. Even now, the memory of our time at Lethos Castle is priceless to me. But that treasure is a stolen one. And this pain... This pain is unbearable. So please, please put an end to my misery. What is this, Nell? Tell me what is happening. No. Uh, no! Put an end to my misery? Pathetic, laughable. Father laid his hand upon my chest. He named me his true heir. I cannot stop until his ambitions are fulfilled. Surely that is what he intended me to achieve. No, he would not call me his heir otherwise. Perhaps it was a trick or simple pity. I do not know. Curse this pain, it never ends. No, stay with me. I will prove my worth. I will avenge father, carry out his will and become heir to the Fell Dragon legacy! So, the Somniel of this world has fallen. I guess I'm not surprised. Divine One, you came. I'm only here for Nell. Please, let her go. Dispel the ward on the final bracelet and I will consider it. The ward? What are you talking about? 
This is the bracelet of the three houses. A ward has been placed upon it so that none may access its power. The emblems within cannot be roused, nor can the bracelet be moved from this location. So the Somniel fell from the sky, but it didn't knock the bracelet loose. Must be frustrating. Quite. The Divine Dragon told me about the war just prior to the final battle against Father. It can only be broken by the one who placed it, and that fool is now dead. Which is why I could not become Father's true heir, not even with all seven bracelets. It was your arrival that rekindled my hope. I have long anticipated this moment. Because I can remove the ward. You can, and you will, or I will slay now. Do not do this, Divine One. I have to. For you, now. It's done. Satisfied. <laughs> the last of the bracelets is finally in my hands. Awaken, emblems! Grant me my desire! At last, Father, I have finally succeeded! I've done what you asked. Now release Nell! Why would I do that, now that I have what I want? Monster! <laughs> Farewell, wretched sister. No! That's quite enough! What is this? Celestia! Gregory! Madeline! Are you injured, Lady Nell? My winds. Words cannot express my relief. I am glad to see you well. Wait, where's Mavir? Divine One, Lady Nell. I'm so sorry. Mavir, Mavir is... What happened? The pillars have been destroyed. Now the temple will collapse. Goodbye, my dear family. Uh, Mavir? Did you... Is that a warp staff? Where's Celestia? Did you send her outside? This was always my intention. Why should all of us die when only one of us need remain here? You idiot! You can't warp yourself out with that! Give it over! If anyone's staying behind, it's me! Gregory... You are Celestia's new second-in-command. Serve her well. Why didn't you tell us, Mavir? Madeline, I wish you the greatest happiness. I see now that protecting you was my... Stop that! Stop saying goodbye! I thought we'd go together. I would not have to say this. Mom, here. I love... There. It is done. I am sorry I had to deceive you all. You were my family. And I am grateful for every day we spent together. But that time is over. Now you must carry on without me. Lady Vale. I will be with you soon. No. Mavir. I can't believe it. A selfless, heroic sacrifice. He was a true knight until the end. To think I stilled only one of you awful wins. How are you alive? No matter. 
You are all detestable in the eyes of Lord Sombron. And you will perish here! No, Nil. We won't let you follow in Sombron's footsteps. We'll stop you from becoming his heir, whatever it takes! Wins! No! Yes. You may have killed one of us, but we are still a mighty Tempest. I won't back down. Mavir would tell me to be brave as the new second-in-command. When my liege walks down the wrong path, it's my duty to stop them. I'll do what I must. I cannot bear to lose any of you. Not one more person. Let this be our final battle, brother. Please, you have to stop him. You can have all that remains of my power. This is... so much. Thank you. I will not fail. This terrain is unstable. We should hurry toward that island to the northwest. I can fight. My wish has finally come true. I suppose I should thank you, Divine. This world will fall, and it is all because of you. You're right. 
All of this happened because I came here. And by removing the ward on the final bracelet, I may have doomed this place for good. But I was summoned here to save you. As long as there's hope for that, I won't give up. I require no saving. It is enough for me to watch you die, knowing you destroyed this world. I'm not here for the world. I'm here for the people in it. I'm here because someone wished for your salvation, even if it meant the world would end. Don't you see? There are people who love you. If I have to defeat you to make that clear, I will. Do you miss your old world? Pity. There is no going back. Not after you dare to defy me! <laughs> you have my attention. Ready and able. Stage is mine. Kind of you. Yes. The true battle begins. I'm prepared. No hesitation. I'm all set. Yeah, that helps. Right. Oh, mine. <clears throat> Oh. 
I am defeated. This cannot be. Father. Father! The bracelets? Where did they go? They disperse when their duty is done. Then I guess this is goodbye. Why? Why? Even with the power of the bracelets, why am I no match for you? Perhaps you see it now. The path Sombron laid out for you was never the right one. If I cannot carry out Father's wishes, then my existence serves no purpose. All my life I have sought to be valued, only to discover that I am truly worthless. I will never be like you. You are not worthless. You are my irreplaceable twin brother. We are two halves of a whole. Ridiculous. I already told you I am not nil. I know. Not nil? What does that mean? I don't understand. What happened to the real nil? He died in battle a thousand years ago. Shortly after Nell gave him her dragon stone, he wanted nothing more than to make his sister proud. And who are you? A fell dragon whose twin perished when I was too young to remember it. I was a lone child, with no abilities to distinguish me, surrounded by pairs of twins, until I met Nell. My mirror image. The resemblance between us was uncanny, and we discovered we had much else in common. We were inseparable for a time. And I was all too happy to have something like a real brother. He was my other half. <sighs> that was how I felt, at least. But for him, there could be no replacement for now. When I found him on the battlefield, breathing his last, his only thoughts were of her. He gave me her Dragonstone, and said that he wished Nell would never have to grieve. For that reason, he asked me to take his place. So you became Nell? I made it appear as if I had been the one to die that day. In a way, I was. There would be no one to mourn my passing. Father would not even notice. I'm having trouble believing all of this. Believe it. I am an imposter. You should not hesitate to kill me. I brought this world to the brink of ruin. If you allow me to live, I will do it again. Let that be your reason, if nothing else. What say you, Nell? I knew you were not Nell from the start. What? I have known about his death for a long time. I saw through your ruse from the beginning. I simply chose not to confront you about it. You took his place for his sake, and for mine. That was an act of kindness. We may not have been born as twins. But I have always thought of you as my other half. Then... you are a fool! Say what you will. I speak the truth. You will recall how we visited the burial site at Lethos Castle to say our farewells. You may not have seen that I left a pressed flower there. It was Nils. I was not saying goodbye only to the Divine Dragon that day. You were saying it to Nell, too. I carried that flower for a long time. I suppose some part of me was unable to move on. Despite that, you became very dear to me. Your companionship saved me from loneliness and despair. I was happy to be a sister to you. I will always cherish our time together, even if you do not feel the same. Without you, I would never have been able to continue fighting all this time. I trusted you above all others, believed in you with all my heart. The only proof that we are not true twins is that I failed to sense your actual intentions. Perhaps. I confess, I have longed to hear you say such things. They make fine parting words. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you. Everything. Goodbye, now. Goodbye. Stop. What are you doing? No! There is another way to end your pain. Once I am gone, you will be free. 
For my part, I would rather die than lose anyone else. No! If only I had realized sooner, I could have prevented this. Seeing Nil and my divine dragon again may be too much to hope for. But even so, I will rest well knowing your pain is at an end. Why would you do this? I deserve this fate, not you. You should have killed me. I could not bear to lose a second brother. For that is what you are to me, despite it all. Before I go, will you tell me your name? Lady Nell! No! Please, no! She's... She's gone. No last words of reproach. No regret for her own passing. All she wanted... was to know my name. <laughs> Rafal, sister. My name is Rafal. Rafal. How did I forget myself? Nil asked me to look after his sister. That was his dying wish. But it was not merely his wish. It was also mine. All I wanted, all I really wanted, was to be her other half. When did I forget those feelings? You said this would be the end of my pain, Nell. But it is not. How could it ever be? I sense something. The Dragonstone pieces, they have a strange energy about them. That is Sombron's magic. Could it be that he cast a spell on that Dragonstone? To sow the seeds of hatred in the heart of Lord Nil? Uh, Rafal, Dragonstones are destroyed by the death of their owner. Lady Nell died to break the spell. Sombron made it so that you two would fight each other instead of conspiring against him. Nonsense. You mean to say that it was just some spell? That all should be forgiven? Ridiculous! Regardless of Sombron's influence, I am responsible for my own actions. I chose to do what I did. It was what I wanted. I will not allow anyone else to shoulder my blame. Not even Father. <sighs> I sought power and I attained it. Even now, I have no regrets about that. I only wish that I could have kept the promise I made to Nil. <sighs> Divine One. What is it? I have heard that dragons of great power can impart their life force unto others. Do you suppose that is true? Yes. My mother did that for me. But it took a thousand years before I woke up. Then I will do the same. I will revive now. Even if it takes me just as long, I will dwell in this empty world alone. In the hope that she will one day rise, perhaps that will be a fitting punishment for what I have done. And perhaps, if and when you wake, we may truly become two halves of a whole. You will. No. You already are. Is that so? Rafal. After Nell wakes up, why don't you come live with me in my Elios? What? I have a feeling you'd be able to travel there from here in the Somniel. It's hard to explain, but I can sense my world right now. It feels closer. Yes. It would seem that a path to other worlds lies open. Perhaps it is due to the bracelets. I did wish to grant my father's desire, if the conquest of other worlds was part of his plan. But I believe it is as you said. It should be possible to move between worlds from here. Then I'll grant you both my protection so you can travel there. When you're ready. The Somniel can't be entered without my blessing as a divine dragon. So come find me. That invitation is open, however long it takes for you to accept it. You would make an ally of the one who so recently tried to kill you? 
If you are asking me here and now, then my answer is certainly no. That said, a thousand years is a long time. I will say this. If, by some miracle, Nell awakens and finds it in her heart to forgive me, then, and only then, will I journey to you. I understand. Now, there is nothing more to say. Leave me. As you wish. I hope to see you again, though. Lord Rafal? Yes? Despite all that's happened, I am grateful for the time we shared. I hope that we'll meet as allies again. Your kindness is wasted on me. Here we are, back at Letho's castle. It feels as if we've been gone for ages. So much has happened since I first met Nell and Nil here. The kings and queens, the emblems, they're all gone. Yes, and Mavir too. <sighs> what should we do now? Beats me. Every nation's lost its rulers, and probably their whole populations by now. I guess we could try to rebuild. Or each grab an empty throne and call ourselves rulers. Rulers with no subjects. I fear we have little to do but bide our time until... the end. What if you came with me? Divine One? This world is beyond saving. You said it yourselves. There's no one left. I'm just a visitor. I have to go back before long. But if I leave you behind... I can't even be sure how long you'll survive. It would mean throwing yourselves into battle again. But still, I hope you'll consider it. Sounds pretty good to me. Better than twiddling our thumbs to the grave, at least. I say we go. A new world might mean scary new enemies and dangers. But still... It's an appealing proposal, but... I'm not sure. I wonder what Mavier would say. Would he forgive us? What do you mean? We are his family, and if we go, he'll be left here all alone. It doesn't seem fair. Why should we be the lucky ones? Why do we deserve this? Deserve what? To be happy? Madeline, what's the last thing that the big guy, that Mavir, said to you? He said he wished me the greatest happiness. There you have it. He'd probably tell you to look forward, not back. Even if it means leaving him behind. You don't get to speak for him. You didn't know him like I did. I knew him pretty darn well. We spent a ton of time together. We were practically brothers. Anyway, you gotta admit, he wouldn't want you sulking forever. <sighs> I know. Mavir would tell me to go. To try and be happy without him. <laughs> Go ahead and cry, Madeline. There hasn't been time to mourn him since... it happened. I'm sorry. You were born into this world and I'm asking you to put it behind you. But if it makes any difference, I spoke to Rafal. He's planning to come as well, one day. You could wait for him with me. Divine One, I share Madeline's struggle. It feels wrong to be the only ones going, to leave our Lord and Lady behind. I understand. But, instead of languishing here, we could go to a world where our skills can be of use. And after everything that's happened, I find it difficult to turn down your request. We have been through so much together. Yes, we have. I'm inclined to go. Do the two of you feel the same? Yep. I agree. Then from now on, the remaining winds will swear our loyalty to you as your attendants. We will go with you, Divine One. I'm glad. I look forward to spending more time with all of you. The feeling is mutual. All right. Remember, you two. We have to work hard as the Four Winds, even in another world. What? We're not calling ourselves the Three Winds now? 
You knew the answer before you even asked. We four are a family, and we'll always be together. Nothing can change that. All right, everyone. Let's go. Nell, Rafal, I'll see you again someday. Thank you, my fellow Divine Dragon. I pray your future is filled with hope and love, and please, take good care of them for me. The weather's so beautiful today. That bright blue sky feels like a good omen. I could not agree more. <sighs> Nell! Rafal! I didn't expect to see you so soon! It has been some time, Divine One. For me, it has been a thousand years. But Nell has returned, and we have come as promised. My sister and I are at your disposal. Welcome to you both. It really is a lovely morning. 